the good time. Now the I right can't time, show you what I got. Time. Cody, you know what's wild? Go ahead. Why not? My, my parents are in Italy, and they're six hours ahead of me. Really? And you're in Hawaii. You're On six purpose? hours behind me. Oh, you're in the middle. Yeah. Oh, that's that's adorable. <laughs> so it's it's four something in the morning for them. What? In a way. I yeah, that's how that math works. I, yeah, I guess it is. It, Holy shit! Yeah, it would be the it would be the exact opposite of my time. Yeah, so I, it would I be got four confused. eighteen yeah. a.m. My timing's all if they're twelve up hours away from me. this week. Anesthesia took a hold of yeah, me. I'm still honestly, I'm still not. I'm still fucky with daylight savings time, even though that was like two epi- two or three episodes ago. I'm still like, eh, my head don't work good or correct. Oh no! Oh shit! I got a purple oh, my head. Stupid. I'm busting out nice. the purple vape, boys. I just Wait. found, like, I just, well, I, I knew when the episode came out, but I didn't watch it. But I found out Ahmed Best, the actor for Jar Jar Binks, was is that. a full-fledged, like, plays a full-fledged Jedi now. Yeah, well, not now. He They had uh, a, a was cameo very, in well, The Mandalorian. But he also did- As um, a full-fledged Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, uh, Kar- Karin, Kar- Karin, Karan, yeah. something, like, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I no, love he that. Had, um, Karin. He he did a he did a, like a, a thing they gave him a few years ago like some kid Star Wars thing he did and then they put him into Mandalorian mm. and I was watching shit. it with my son I'm, I'm like very, holy shit I'm, that's Jar Jar <laughs> yeah I'm very happy that uh, the worst character of the entire like brainchild has the actor has like more than that you know what I mean yeah. he, he's touched the series more than just Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Alex Jones talks about uh, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, he's like, he has a black Caribbean accent, and uh, he's a loser little titty baby. That's what he calls him. You should just call Ray anyways. You think? Yeah. I mean, we get the okay. show started. I was oh, even doing okay. it on the show. Yeah. Oh, you want me to hit the button? I mean, you're in charge of the button. You hit it whenever you want to. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Let me sit up. Mm. It's 256, boys. I didn't know that. Now you do. I did, because I've been making fucking content. you got to find the more you know bumper. I'm going to make uh, so much content all over your chest tonight, Randy. Woo! Oh, hey, yeah. everybody. Welcome. It's episode 256 of the Richard Controller Podcast. Slightly better than you know. I am your host, Ray. Once again, you back at you with you baby i love those ear holes well maybe the nostrils because you can go in and out the other way you gotta be careful though such a maze up there anyways randy's late cody's here but it's fun everything's good i was late too nah you don't count but i beat randy yeah exactly that's which co- makes it not late <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you, you were know, here I showed up him. after the time yeah yeah hey what's going on what's going on randy well, I just pissed on the side of the interstate under an underpass because I was trying to make it here on time. Is there a homeless there? Uh, no. What? No. Why did no. you do it under the underpass? Why didn't you like hydrate a bush or something? Well, there was oh, no bush. It was sorry, I forgot. You live in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. There's no foliage. Randy, All the foliage in Ohio has gone extinct. If you're pissing yeah. on the side of the road, can they see your dick? Like you can't see your dick. Can motorists see? No. It? There's no way. It's not that reflective. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Can I don't put the reflective. Can we get a Patreon on thing going? <laughs> can you can you find Randy's dick in, in this picture? <laughs> yeah, let's neat. Let's let's spray paint it Randy's dick neon white. <laughs> Once we get a Patreon, goal. that's more like an There's OnlyFans. Mosquito in yeah. my room. Anyway, hey, All right, I'm sorry, Randy. I probably interrupted you saying something. Oh no, I was just saying that. Uh, like I couldn't really get a good hold on it, so I just had to lean over and grab onto the pillar and let it go. No, you got to lean back. You gotta because those you get, you get it on your pants and shoes. You gotta lean back. Oh, really? Yeah. Give it an extra arc. Oh, Cody, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you? <laughs> I love when Cody it's, begrudgingly admits mine's more he knows like what I'm a talking about. No, I just summoned like a fucking meme, and it, it's it was a like an ancient Reddit post, and it's a guy like that took a leak at like some kind of fancy like toilet in the public restroom and then like he takes a step back and takes a picture and he's like oh isn't it interesting my entire piss stain pattern missed all of my legs and shoes and it's like it didn't you just like it. <laughs> and it, yeah and it shows it shows like where he was standing and it's just like oh wow look it none of it got on me it's just like no yeah. no it got all over yeah. you yeah 
<laughs> just you don't know it is. That that was the image I conjured. Yeah. Well, I had holes in my crotch, and great... I didn't feel any spittle. So, <sighs> are the holes normal? That's the that's the thing you always have to ask with Crocs and holes in them. I can't stand you and your fucking are Crocs, normal? Randy. I, I, I swear to God, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I in in college i rocked crocs but i specifically paid like the 40 dollar upcharge for like <laughs> the holeless ones <laughs> there were more they more looked like sandals than clogs but. it was 40 dollars or more cody what's going on buddy nothing chilling I've, I've like I've had two shower thoughts plague me all fucking week, and I, I guess I could use like this show as an outlet. Uh, and anytime uh, you need it, are we are we, are we done you. talking about weeks and stuff like that? Because yeah. I, I really want to unload. I think I, I think I have democracy beat. Okay, or, I mean I could talk about colonoscopy later. Randy, uh, by the way, we were talking before the show. You need to like program this app that I'm about to like throw yeah. down. Oh, and okay. just so you know, everyone listening at home, the patent's already pending on this. So like, you if you if you try to beat us, you can't. Yep. Just, oh. just I want you to know that, and I want you to think that. Anyway, here's here's my here's my new democracy idea, and this this works with the two party system. So uh, go fuck uh, everyone else that's not Republican or Democrat. Wait a this second. only works for two parties. Do we we make new parties? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. No, we're not making new parties. Oh. This is just a new idea and how to count. With it, 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 and this again, this only works in the two-party system. What are we counting? And here, here's we're counting votes as usual, but in a new way. Okay, so you said you said new way to count. I want to be clear. New way new to way count way to votes. New way to tally votes. Okay. It, it's going to revolutionize American democracy. Right. Hit me with and it. And Randy, I need you to like fucking pay attention. Like, like make some kind of overflow that like Don't eventually high. comes into like app form and we can charge two ninety nine a piece for this app. Ready? I'm going to call this concept election day hate dates. Right? <laughs> you can probably, you probably already know where you're, where I'm fucking going with this. Can't you? No, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> here's, here's the basic mathematics behind it. If say say Rem, you have a you have a neighbor named Ram. Okay. Right? And you and Ram are neighbors, you get along fine, but you know for certain next election day, he's gonna vote opposite for you. It's just how you two fall on the spectrum. Yeah. And we don't actually have to like say who's on which side of the wings, but let's just say you're friends and you're on both sides of the wing. Now, come election day, instead of you both going to vote and standing in like some smelly elementary school, you just make sure each other doesn't vote. Oh, do you kill you him? You just spend the day. No, you just spend the day making sure none, of, neither of you cast your vote. Oh, and at the end in a two party system, it's the same. It's the same tally. The guy at the end still wins by the same number. It's not as high because there's not as many people voting, but if two people who know they're going to be voting opposite just make sure the other guy doesn't vote, just spend the entire day like bowling or going to Dave and Buster's with Ram, you know what I mean? Yeah. And just make sure he spends the entire day away from a polling place and he'll be doing the same with you. So that's brilliant, okay? but if it, the result ends up being I know. the same. Exactly, but... You, no, you, oh, it doesn't like, because you the, don't have the, the extra built-in. You votes. don't have to. Yes, you're right. You don't, and you and you don't have to spend your fucking day, or you know, you don't have to spend your like lunch break or whatever, like at a fucking polling place, smelling elementary school, and like listening to like you know the fucking Susan behind you or whatever. There's way better things you can be doing on election day, like being at Dave and Buster's or bowling or just going on a hike. Okay, so. And all you have to do is just make sure some guy on the opposite side of you doesn't vote. Yeah, and he'll do the same thing. He'll just make sure you don't vote. War at all. No, no, it's no, that's what it, we want. You you can literally see it's it works as long as you safeguard your like hate dater from like being near a polling place. That's all you have to do. So, and you can do whatever you want. It's pretty much the same Wait, as voting. So, wait, so do you get somebody assigned to you that you have to stop from voting? No. Oh, no. You just find you. You just pair up with somebody you know is going to vote. So, what's the app for? The app is making sure, like, I, I like nobody like sneaks off in the middle of like you know the second set of a you know the second oh, uh, like a, act of a movie. It's like a proximity. You know, into a polling place. Yeah. So as <laughs> soon as like you, like your phones are out of range, and it's like, oh, Ram could have got voted. 
while you know he was getting cigarettes, then you have to be like, well, fuck, I I can't trust does, Ram. I have to go vote. But does Ram know what I'm doing? Yes, both of you know. You're just keeping each other away from the polling booth. <laughs> so it's uh, consensual. Yes, it, you're, it's totally consensual. But what if they both decide not to do that? No, what What do you mean? Like if go they both decide, instead? you know what? Let's not stop each other from voting. Let's go vote. I think this only works if we make it a national holiday. Well, that's the thing. It, <laughs> yeah. Well, n- no, it it works if you can like have it electronically like backed up. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's the same. Like the guy who wins is winning by the same number. The same degrep- the, the the president well, no, will win see, by the same amount of votes. There are you're flip just, You're just pairing off. Not, well, not really. This is because, on election day because the districts are so fucked that like yeah, they're so gerrymandered to fuck. Like where yeah, I'm yeah. at, there's six different counties or six different districts in one place because they gerrymandered the city. Isn't it, Cody? You're right. The the what you're doing is you're leaving the bases at home. The people who are going to vote that way, no matter what, right? And so it's the undecided. Exactly. You're just you're just taking the bulk yeah. out of the tally. And when you do that, like I feel like the lines <laughs> are going to move much faster. Right. Even if you're one of the people gonna, that don't agree with like my hate date system and just want to still vote, I'm taking some of the people out of the line. You have to sit in. You're boosting so the economy. So yes, this is still a good idea. People are out yeah. doing things. Make it a national they're holiday. Doing thing, they're better. They're doing better things than waiting in a line. We can sell yeah. lots of And if they are waiting in line, bills. they're waiting in a shorter line. You you could offer specials like, hey, Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, yeah, I like it. You yeah, know, yeah. bring your hate date. Bring your hate date. Each of you pay like eight ninety nine. You can so have endless wings the new until Black the polls Friday. close. So, exactly. So the hate date. So I, originally, I thought the app was going to bring you close to somebody. Who would vote opposite of you? But no. it's just a proximity. No, sensor. you're just you're literally just doing okay. an activity with somebody that's so going to vote. How are you going to find the people? You can hate them. You can love them. You just you would just you could use the app for that. You post on Facebook you know, without disclosing yeah. to another human being oh. like what you're like. Hey, vote anybody want to hook up on hate date? Tell a server. Yeah, make a game. You'd be like, I'm going to vote for this guy. If anyone wants to skip the election poll lines, who's voting opposite, go on a hate date with me. We'll go hiking. And then you're making so friends. Must vote. Then you bring in people yeah, together can, too. You don't totally optional. Yeah, wow. Totally optional. Oh, you can make friends. You can hate on them. Yep. You can learn from them. But generally, uh, when people from different backgrounds sit down and have a meal, I know it's fucking hard. The world is usually a better place. Mm-hmm. The so so like I think there's like seven like small benefits that like congeal to actually like wait this might actually be something will will the app be responsible for the inevitable murder that happens no never okay. that's why you put it in the eula okay. or the end user well that's what eula stands for just making sure and user license agreement or the terms of service because i feel like there'd be some sort of like backlash step around all you that. agree to binding arbitration no matter what of course of binding arbitration. Yeah, okay but at the same time like the more you talk about this like, the more what's like the it. worst what's the worst that's going to happen Somebody kills somebody. Yeah. For what reason, though? For, or like, the they Proud Boys voting. use it to track down Antifa. Or or Antifa uses it to look for... Fine. Um, we can put a filter on there that's just like, oh, people on the people who are, like, on the far right and far left don't get to play. Oh, you know yeah, that's I mean? easy like, to you, do. We could, we, or or <laughs> we could just pass an amendment just banning those people from voting. No, I can't do that. It's no, easier to it's do. It's a right yeah. to vote. I'm just no, okay. It's no this this. <laughs> okay, this so works. okay, all right. So, you so know, I want credit, for Cody. This, here, so I want credit question for, this. for it. Very, very, this is going to be revolutionary. This is a serious question based on recent events. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Ricky Vaughn, all right, that Mackie guy. He got he's got he got found guilty for election interference for making a meme that said "call and text." You can text. You don't have to vote. Did you hear about that? No. Really? I can you, see. Really? No. I haven't heard. Okay, so back in If you showed me a election, picture of him, I might be like, wait, I know what this is. I mean, it's is. all over. It's on Twitter or on Facebook and stuff. So you know, this guy, Ricky Vaughn, was his username. Mm. He made a meme that said, um, skip the lines, text your vote to this number, vote for Hillary, right? And it, 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 it turns out it, it affected like 15 Oh, or, he, got, they, he was God for election interviews. Yeah, yeah, because he posted a meme, which, I mean, it's uh, totally okay. anti free speech and it's a bunch of bullshit, but he got busted for election interference. If your app is preventing people from voting, you'd be the biggest election interferer of all. 
No, uh, you just yes, the rules have changed. They just put a guy in for making a picture. No, 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 no. no. This isn't a picture. This is this is this literally keeping people from binding. voting. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. It really isn't because yeah, you'd have people at the end of the day. If you here's though. the thing. Here's the thing. If you're halfway through your hate date and you're just like, well, fuck it, I want to go vote. Go vote. And the other guy will be like, okay, well, I guess I'll go vote too. And we're still at the same number at the end of the day. Oh, so you're you know counting I mean? on people like, being civil if you can about it. Come to the table. You know, like this is where the murder happens. If the guy decides he wants to go vote, no, I'm not going to let you vote. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Ba boom. Well, okay, no, no. If they someone wants to go oh, vote, we got to have go a vote dual too. system like they had. That's in the what. Old days. That's how it fall. Like when the. So, like, when my system breaks or when, like, someone doesn't consent to something or says, fuck that, yeah. it's, it goes, it falls back to regular people voting. Okay. It falls back to the way it usually is. So that's why I think it's something special. Because when it breaks, it's what we have now. Okay. You know what right. I mean? I, see, I'm, I just, so I just think, I think of the, the very high, highly charged political climate we have right now. And Randy people... had the best question. What if people lie about their yeah, affiliation going too. in? So, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. But like I feel like I have something. I feel like I have something. Hey, can work it out. Huh? Yeah, Randy. We don't. I'm not married to that. That's just the conceptual you like working name. It doesn't even have to be a date. You don't have to hate the guy. I was just you know at the extreme. My comedian brain was just like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if Hillary and uh, uh, you know, <laughs> like, Trump like, paired up? It, and it would be great if like we got the presidential candidates. To do it, like, like they. Just well, here's the, the thing: we together. know exactly how those two guys are going to date. So if they hang out for the entire election day together, the end result is going to be the same. Yeah. The winner will still win. By the way, I feel like I could get difference. this passed in Ohio, but it would be racist as fuck in some way. Yeah, everything's yeah. racist now. My stuff. This only works for presidential like votes uh, and and Senate. Uh, if it's a two party system, yeah. yeah, it's only two parties because it, you, you're National you're very elections. you're probably not going to find somebody who's going to cast the exact opposite ballot. You so, want. Cody, how are we accounting for the 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 uh, the Green Party and the Libertarian Party? We don't. Okay, we don't. They're never going to win. Well, now they might. I mean, I'm saying that as somebody that votes for those parties every so often. <laughs> I know they don't win. <laughs> like, I know <laughs> they don't win. Their their job, like. It, I took a class in politics and it was explained to me, literally, their job is to take away blue votes. That's that's literally what their job awesome. is to do, because yeah. More people that. that vote red aren't get, are never going to vote green. Right. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, more, more so than that. It's literally Less just blue votes. Yeah, it's literally just a splinter into blue, blue votes. That's what third parties do. Awesome. So just yeah, but ignore the them. They're never going to win. Votes. That, well, yeah, it depends on what where the splinter is. Yeah, some libertarians might just stay home and not vote at all. But yeah. can't tell me what to do unless if Justin Amash is running. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do unless there's reverse psychology involved. <laughs> yeah. Cody, I like it. That's a really good idea. Uh, ah, you. that's a good shirt. Can we have that shirt? Uh, can't tell me what to do unless reverse psychology. Write that is down. Involved. I'm gonna forget after tonight. So make sure you write it down. Okay. Write it down right now. We can we can sure. we can uh, get an AI art image, and I get producer Ryan to do some graphics. Boom. All Boom. Right. Yeah, yeah, get with me and I'll make the AI art. So real quick, I had a I had a colonoscopy earlier this week. Yesterday. I heard. Yesterday. This, is, this is a great Dun. chaser to the politics. Yeah. Uh, it was fun. Uh, I got a taste that Michael Jackson sleep milk talked about before. You know what I'm talking Ooh. about, Cody? Mm. No. The propofol? I mean, vaguely. Can you go, do it again? Yeah. Michael Jackson called his propofol his sleep milk. Sure. Sounds no, that's what he's going to every night. He, that doctor would administer that shit so he could sleep because he couldn't sleep for some reason. He became addicted to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I'm, when I say like, yeah, sure, like it's, I'm, I'm saying like, oh man, that shit's awesome. Enough. I'm not like, like, I get like it. doubting you. I know. Before, uh, the, the sleep milk is Randy. amazing. Yeah, Randy's currently mm. brought to you by Qvivic. It's thirty five hundred dollars a month, but man, is it a good night's sleep? I haven't had this much sleep in my eyes since I was a kid. You're sleeping again. That's right. Good job. Yeah. Bud. Yeah. Yep. I had a, That's a lot of money to sleep. Couldn't eat for a while, Cody. I, I couldn't eat all day Tuesday. So my last meal was yeah, Monday. Saying. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 
My daughter Damn. made it for me. Isn't that nice though? Like, it's, if I had to do that, I would just, I would just ride the fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and, and I would just Tuesday ride wasn't bad as as because you could drink. You know, you could drink, you could drink soda, you could drink Gatorade, and you chicken could drink broth. a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, it's clear liquid, right? It has some Jello or popsicles, or whatever. Uh, the worst part is the day of, where for four hours beforehand, you can't put anything in your mouth. So Ooh. yeah, yeah, you've already been shitting your brains right. out, and it just like stream of steady water coming out your asshole. Oh my god, did it's such a, a weird feeling. Yes, yes, I did. Oh good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm looking it, at a bidet, mate. It's 400 bucks, but man, it has all the bells and whistles. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I think they're sponsoring us now. But so you get oh. to the you get to the office, right? And you you haven't eaten in for like 40 hours. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 36 and and you haven't drank anything for four right so you, your brain just isn't working they start asking you all these questions they ask you what your name is your date of birth what you're here for what doctor you're seeing where you live like what please mm. please don't please don't and then they, they wheel you in they ask you the same questions again i said to the nurses mm. this is this is too much i cannot answer your questions right now i have no idea what's yeah. happening <laughs> Uh, yeah, They're like are you are you testing my patience right now? Yeah, it's like this is a lot of questions for I not will. eating nothing for thirty eight hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, and just, they sound similar. Yeah, and then and last time I checked, I only have one birthday. You, Cody, you'd be proud of me. Uh, typically, when I get uncomfortable and nervous, I make jokes or I laugh at things, and mm -hmm. I did really well not doing that yesterday. Aww. Yeah, I've heard some. I've heard some. Uh, there's a. I've heard some stories There's, from like just the internet in general about how how to either abate or increase the awkwardness during that situation. <laughs> Cody, the first time I ever did this, uh, I've done a couple of these, um, but they did mm -hmm. they went do it did an upper endoscopy too, and they had to put this little thing in your mm -hmm. mouth to keep your mouth open, but they can slide a camera into it. So they're you know yeah. they're drugging me up. They're putting this thing in my mouth. I'm like, are we filming like a kink movie or something? But I'm saying that with the thing in my mouth, like. Oh, okay, cool. yeah, they're not. No. Yeah, and then I fell. Uh, you, you're probably asleep. irritating them. Yep. And then what they what they do is they had to fill your colon up with air so they can move the camera around. So they oh. tell you they tell you before you go in and after. So listen, you're gonna feel really gassy. Just let it out. All right. So then you wake up, which is weird. It's weird waking up off anesthesia because you're like, what the fuck? And and the nurse is I, over I there. She's like, good Great. morning, Rem. And I'm like, good morning. What what the hell? We skip a day because it's supposed to be the afternoon. Um, and she's like, if you have any air in there, just let it out. And I just I just just farting left and right. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And she's like, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's you're so friendly. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> literally just air. It's not yeah stank. Yeah, yeah. like it, they don't pump your ass full of stank so you can. You know, that's they, they pump you full of clean, clean air, clean, air, clean sterilized so. air. Well, everything's good. Uh, they took a little biopsy, Cody. Glad. And my, my doctor's nice. like, oh, it was oozing, so we I clipped it. So there's a little clip right now in there. So here's a card in case you have to get an MRI done because there's a piece of metal in your body, and that'll just. You come said out. too many offensive words back yeah. to back, and I kind of just. There's too many. My brain just widened yeah. out. So this little clip's gonna come out of my ass in the next couple of days. Oh, nice. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, now it feels it like it's like sitting right there. My, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cody, there's a copy for the Bidet Mate 3000 in the notes that the interns put together. All right. So that's my colonoscopy story. The Michael Jackson sleep milk. Finally got my taste of it. It's been a while. And it's amazing. I love it. Mm -hmm. nice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cody. Propofol is a hell of a drug, I hear, you know? Like, you can say some shit that you don't, that people ain't ready for. Yes. You know? When you wake up, that's that's the most honest time in your life. <laughs> it's, it's, honest? And I had okay. to remember this. For whatever reason, my brain kicked on and said, don't say any of the things you're thinking right now. A couple of them slipped out. <laughs> oh, man, that's like a challenge I have every day in my fucking life. Really? <laughs> Same. Yeah. Dude, you, you wouldn't believe the dressing down, like, this one shampoo bottle in my shower again. <laughs> um <laughs> Wow, that goes with the A isolated audio tonight. Wow. <laughs> oh. Look at that. What happened? I want to know about the shower bottle. No, I'm just saying, like, I, everyone has that one shower bottle they win, like, their imaginary arguments with. Oh, I am thought I, you Am I special it. in yes. that? Was, <laughs> I no. thought you were fucking the shower bottle. Great. <laughs> Good job. Uh, because for some reason, shower bottle is fuckable in Randy's world. What kind no, of I, I soft ass weird, shower but bottles? I was fucking gonna roll with it, Cody. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. I, okay. 
I wasn't going to shame you for no, fucking I got you. shower bottles. You're right or die. Was, yeah. yeah. You, Cody, I hear music right in the shower. I, got, I, got I hear it in my head. My, my brain recreates songs. If and sometimes I make up my like own. Bottle, Cody, fucking okay serial killer. Yeah. You're a horrible serial killer, Ram. Why? Do what normal people do and relive high school arguments, but win them. Oh, you know what happened that's today? What, that's what that's what normal people. So, something do. triggered Why? a memory of. Okay, so this is a weird little thing in my life, and I got this. When I, I, a lot of this gets hidden away because I don't like thinking about much of it. But um, I had a babysitter when I was little. When I was a little kid, and wow. she was basically like um, like an older sister. She spent a lot of time with our family and everything. So really close to the family, um, still still to this day. And not a weird, not in a weird way at all. All right, she, she's like part, you know, one of those extent parts of your family is not officially family. Okay. Yeah. Um. But so yeah. growing up, I spent a lot of time with her because you know my parents were working and she was my, my babysitter. And so you know, like eight, nine, ten years old, and I'm starting to think she she had a whole bunch of different boyfriends that I spent a lot of alone time with, right? Not nothing, nothing pedo ish. Okay. They're, these are all really cool dudes, right? They're like one took me to a uh-huh. baseball game. Uh, another one took me, right. went to a, I think a hockey game we did. Like they, they, they did stuff with me. Like, like having like an older brother or a second father type of thing. Right. Sure. And this was, this was late eighties, possibly early nineties. Mm, okay. Yeah. Early nineties. So 94 would be the latest. So late eighties, early nineties. And I just thought like, holy shit, like none of that, if that, any of that happened today, like we think what kind of evil person would just send their kids off with a bunch of strangers right but uh, i went to a yankee game oh my god yeah. with 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 my babysitter's boyfriend it was just the two of us <laughs> yeah. but and, and it was perfectly fine because everybody was cool but man, like the world i, mean, I guess what i'm getting at is the world's changed a lot oh yeah. have i ever like, told you how i got similar, my godmother no similar i have, i i too have similar stories so you can take your first turn Oh, sorry. Andy, if you wanted. Uh, no. Well, my mom uh, didn't really like having me around too much, so she sent me to daycare, even though she didn't have a job. And uh, <laughs> so I was there, and the lady that worked there took a shine into me. And uh, she started picking me up, taking me to church and stuff. And then she always made sure I had a birthday and Christmas. And uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a relationship we don't have anymore. Just what's yep. the relationship you have? Took a shine. Yeah, that's, yep. that's wholesomeness. It. Just took a shine too. Yeah, is this going to yeah, take a dark turn, Randy, anymore. or you, is that is it a positive one? Uh, well, we don't really talk now. Why? The weed that's and fine. The podcast. That's neutral. Yep. The weed and the positive, podcast. and then neutral is still positive. Well, she's pretty uh, devout. Oh, okay. Uh, We're good. We're good. You, you can Starbucks end this story it. here and have your first. Positive experience on this show right now. Yeah, you just stop talking. Was, Randy. Her parents really no, no, no. Cody said stop. Stop. What? Stop. You're you're good right here. This is a perfect. Yeah. Like I, I'm not sure if you realize what these moments are, so I just want to flag them for you. Like now is a great time to pull break. Nothing wrong happened. You didn't hit anything. The train is still on the track in front of you. Just pull pop the brake. Good job, Randy. You can pop the brake right now and just be on first base. I'm drifting. <laughs> yeah. There you let go. Let Cody hit you the second or home. No, he can. I just want him to let you know right now. He can pop the brake right now, but I'm not I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just saying now would be a good time to pop the brake. So you want to finish that story or just pop that brake? No, I'm just glad she couldn't have kids. Uh, that's all I'm happy about. Okay. All right. All right, Cody, what, what's uh, what's going on with you? What, what was your uh, similar uh, situation? My wholesome story is that could never happen again. Is I always, um, how old was I? I was I, it was it was senior in high school. I was a senior in high school, and for the kids that want to make an extra um, few bucks during the summer, the high school offered uh, camp counseling, but it was art and music camp. So easy shit I could do. Yay. Um, so like they, uh, they, you know, they pay you like $300 to do like three weeks. And these are like eight year olds <laughs> that you're teaching like claymation and, um, videography to, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, it's kind of loose, but it's just like, ah, yeah, I, I do. These are, these are the classes I will eventually major in, in like yeah, and kids college. love that shit. Too. So like, yeah, why not like inspire, like, you know, yeah. Eight people that would otherwise be idiots in the public schooling system. Like, hey, you claymation is art and, you know, shooting silly films as long as you, you know, 
don't hurt yourselves. Well, you know, you can hurt, you can do jackass and hurt yourself and still film it. And then that's still entertainment, but don't, your kids don't do that. Anyway, there was a girl that, that was in my group that just had a broken leg for the three weeks. Oh. And there's no bathrooms on in the basement where the photography rooms are, aka the video and claymation rooms, you know, just so they can have their own dark rooms and stuff like that. So there's no bathrooms. And the there's like no security guards and security guards are the keeper of the keys for the elevator. Oh. And, you know, they're not going to hire the security <laughs> yeah. guards. So she's like, every time she had to pee, she's like, I need a piggyback ride into the stall. Oh, and nothing. It was totally fine. Everyone was happy, but it's just like, goddamn, if that happened on 2023, it would be like, no, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I would need like a body camera yeah. on me just being like, no, ma'am, I can't do that. Sorry. You know what I mean? But it's just like, so you would give her a piggyback ride to the never stall again. Every time she would need to pee because there's no bathrooms it, in the basement, and you would drop her off on a t- on on the pot, n- not on the she you know oh okay like, she hop I around put her standing in the stall gotcha. okay and then I would close the stall and leave. I, the I thought maybe you were bathroom. squatting down and setting her down so she you know right no okay no All right. no I mean did you get a hall no, pass for that or something? No, there's literally no one in the school. Yeah, like, Cody the was school the is empty, and oh. I'm yeah I'm he, he was I'm a responsible adult. Yeah. So like there's a teacher that does this and then the teacher has like four students and then those four students each have about like eight council like campers. Oh. And like one of my campers just had a broken leg and there there's handicap accessible school yeah, you in know, fucking New York. Isn't, isn't it fucking isn't weird now. is that they've made it like for doing good things for other people is bad now? Uh yeah, the incentive game has yeah. sw- like well Yes, it's swung because like horror stories are easier to communicate now. Well, like so last last Monday, I um what, no last Thursday, I had an eye doctor appointment. Right, I was at the eye doctor, and this old lady was at the counter next to me complaining about how she didn't want to have to pay for fifty dollars for a refraction because she just wants her prescription. And then the office is like, well, no, we we have to do a test on you to know what your prescription is. You know, you've never been here before. We're not just going to honor a prescription. We don't know what it is. Right. So they're going back and forth. She's like, that's yeah, that's the, yeah. And she's like, Oh, it seems like there's a money making op- racket to me. Well, whatever. She's being really annoying and I already hate old people. So I was just wishing she dropped right. out of a heart attack, but she didn't. She just dropped her wallet. She dropped her wallet and I looked down at it and I said, maybe I shouldn't get that because they'll think I'm stealing something. But I got it for her anyways, and I handed it to her, and I smiled. And she said, oh, thank you so much. I, I've had that, too. Said, You're welcome. I've had that, too, where, like, somebody drops a wallet in front of you. And I, like, I explicitly remember, like, don't break your stride while you scoop it up to return it to them. Otherwise, they might think you're going to, like, yeah. pick it and run. Right? You know what I mean? It's- so, like, I have to do this awkward, like, the most awkward human locomotive thing you've ever seen of like scooping a purse back into a woman's hand without like stopping. Oh, but that's like heroic like, and Look, sexy. I'm not They're like, oh, you just yeah, swept me it off wasn't. my feet. It wasn't. No. Oh, and just to cover my ass, going back to my story about dropping the uh, the girl off in the bathroom stall, this is what the teacher, like, this is what the 38 year old female teacher told me to do. Rock and roll. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah, this this, no. this 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 is not any miner's idea. Like, okay, this is no, we didn't, we weren't, we don't think you're teacher. bad for this at all. I know, no, no, no. Oh. I know, you, I know everyone I'm looking at okay. on this uh, like okay. Discord call yeah. is cool. I just don't know about the. Future. I hope the AI write up doesn't uh, misinterpret any of that. Oh, it's going. To. <laughs> it's going to. That's what it's for. <laughs> That's what it's. For. I did do uh, 178 and 255 this week. That's what it's one se- oh, isolated. Shit. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. What do we got? What do we got tonight, Randy? Uh, well, Cody has the copy for. Uh... Oh, the bidet mate. That's right. Uh, we got yes. a, we got a new sponsorship here, Cody. Yep. Thank you. Where is it? it Holy shit! Yep. Where is kind it? of. It's under Cody. Read this copy. <laughs> under Cody. Just producing live from the show. You know, there's like four segments that have I have that, it highlighted, right? bud. Like. All right, you just want me to read it? No. Okay, I see it. See, Randy, when everything is bold, underlined, (laughs) nothing is bold and underlined. I didn't make that choice. I did it on my phone, okay? It just did it. All right. 
Introducing the fantabulous Bootylicious Bidet Mate, your new BFF in the bathroom. Sick of wiping like a caveman? Well, say hello to the future of Fanny, <laughs> Fanny Freshness. Freshness. Our Bidet Mate is revolutionary ass-blasting device that'll leave you feeling squeaky clean and singing its praises. With its pinpoint accuracy, it'll hit the bullseye every <laughs> single time worried about the water temperature don't stress the bidet mate has customizable settings to make your tushy toasty or as cool as a cucumber but wait there's more the bidet is not only eco-friendly but also doubles as a butthole whisperer what? making those stubborn <laughs> skid marks a thing of the past say goodbye to the age-old question why is this <laughs> toilet paper endless because with the bidet mate, you'll save trees and your wallet. That's two kinds of paper. So, what are you waiting for? Join the bidet brigade and order your very own bidet mate today. Your dairy air will thank you later. Wow. Uh, I'll cut that out and tweet it at him. Yeah. I, uh, also, send me eight, some music. I'm going to need at least there. $8 for that. All right. I'm going to yeah. need at least $8. For We're going to put Cody on Fiverr so he can, uh, yeah. he can raise some funds Cody, for the show. Got time. Eight or. Give me eight. 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 Yeah. <laughs> eight. Well, we'll right. charge $25 eight. and we'll include a piece Seven. of AI art with it. We should get some Seven rich chicken that branded cool. merchandise like a bidet. Like, can, we, can we partner with them? Oh, absolutely. I, hope. <laughs> I thought that's what this was. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean to make, make the, me the TRDS oh, perfect model. Yeah, TRDS at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that just be like the most horrific, like, baseless like advertisement in like you could muster like just imagine like you go take a shit in like a public restroom and like the bidet traces like the ford logo on your taint and anus <laughs> like, wait i recognize that we still well, have that colonel sanders uh... did you did you trace colonel sanders on my anus there's nothing's holy anymore this is this is the horrible can we get that? That needs to be a Black Mirror episode. Yes, it, it's already one. It's already a Black. Mirror Randy, you got to learn how to do thing. quick animation. We get we get Cody with the ideas, Chat GPT to write the scripts, we do some voice acting, some animation. Good to go. You mean the yeah. interns? It's exactly what I meant. Yes. Bye. I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. No, Mark. It, we've just <laughs> bullied the interns to the point where they legally change their name to whatever the end joke is. Yeah. This week it's Chat GPT. <laughs> Yep, and here we go. You want segments? We've got segments. It's thinking with your dickman. All right, we got two Simpsons and then a couple articles. Ready? Wait. Oh, this is Dick of the Week. Okay. Yep. Oh, wait. No, no we have Thinking is, With Your Dickman. Yeah, all right. right. Yeah. What the fuck? I just had an aneurysm. <sighs> Randy yeah, got me confused. You're, you're reading advice. I'm sorry. Randy got me confused. Who? Who? Sorry, it's been a long day. Yo, Janky Jerry from Jacksonville, Florida here. What's up, you glorified morons? You. I got a problem. I need your shitty advice. What? I'm a 35-year-old white dude who's fallen for this 25-year-old Latina yoga instructor. She's bendy as fuck, but... Also a hardcore vegan. Now, I love me some meat, no homo, but she's pressuring... I didn't say no homo. This guy said no homo. <laughs> but she's pressuring hurts? me to go full plant muncher. How the fuck do I keep this goodness without giving up any of my beloved bacon cheese? You put your foot down. Uh, and you say, I'm uh, eating my meat. Sorry. And then you... Yeah. yeah. Here's what you do. You tell her if your boyfriend doesn't eat meat that you're a vegetarian and you're not fucking scared of him i fucked that up real bad <laughs> helen keller shut your lips do the helen keller and talk with your hips <laughs> go ahead cody what were you saying i had uh, i was i was gonna suggest i was gonna suggest uh having a compromising with the cheat day you know what I mean? Like be vegan six days, but like Sunday, just no. make sure while she's in church. No, veganism you're eating sucks. like nine. Eat, have you ever eaten vegan? It blows. Um, their desserts are really good. 
because they can't use eggs, which makes the desserts thicker because eggs are usually used as filler in regular desserts. Okay. But have you had vegan chi- uh wait. Vegan nope. Anyways, vegan food sucks. But um listen, you have to uh, convert yeah. her to eat meat again. It's like you start telling her, like, you look you're looking really skinny. It's kinda gross, right? You gotta get some The one professional vegan meal I've bunch had of protein. Is very good. Yeah. It was a uh, yeah, it was a uh, hash browns. It was a sweet potato hash browns, and that was done very well. <laughs> no, you get what? <laughs> no, you, to, what? you get to do the protein substitute. They're all terrible. Tofu, uh, fucking portobello oh, mushrooms. Oh, absolutely. When, okay, here's yeah. the thing. When tofu is just regular ass tofu, it's fine. It's delicious. Like when it's part of like some kind of Asian like like tofu mopu or mapu. I don't know how to say that, but it's a Szechuan tofu. Fucking delicious. Anthony mm. Bourdain did a whole goddamn thing on it. But when tofu tries to be something it's not, tofu can go yeah. go fucking die. I, like I don't understand. Jackfruit. Like, Cody, don't make a tofu. Like, have you ever had jackfruit? Uh, yeah, you have. Because they you use jackfruit. Is that a brand name? No, jackfruit. Okay. It's an actual fruit, and they they make like yeah, vegan meals out of it, like a re- substitute for for meat. Yeah, it just, no, I'm not. I never subscribe to the meat substitute game. Yeah, I, like don't. I just want to know what it tastes like. It probably tastes like that fucking uh, Beyond Burger you had that one time. I never, I never ate one of those. <laughs> what if? Well, uh, well, the what was the I, I, I you gave me his fucking segment yeah. when you ate one of those. Yeah, you ate it at Impossible Whopper. Oh, the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's I forgot what about the that. Fu- like I have video evidence <laughs> yeah, of how fucking long I forgot. You are. It was like, awful and he, too. And he blurred out your credit card. Thank, yeah, he's the best. No, that was that was the that was the wing place. I didn't oh. blur it out. I fu- here's the thing. I fucking <laughs> deleted it from the segment. I didn't blur it out, Jim. I didn't blur out the f- like. Just cut out me like putting my pen into my iPad. Don't censor it. <laughs> People are gonna wonder like, oh, what's Cody hiding? And it, like, <laughs> not, that's not the right way to censor things, Jim. But he did it. You. But he did it anyway. Yes. Thank he, you. He's fine. Um, I, but yeah. Anyway, when tofu is its own thing, as it is a greenie, it's fine. When you ask tofu to be something it's not, it's pretty gross. Turkey, when you ask it to be something it's not, is pretty fucking gross. Yes, yeah. turkey no, bacon. I, turkey I burger, was just about to suggest like, turkey sausage. I've been rocking turkey that's fu- sausage. That one's every good day. because you can put anything in sausage. Yeah, it's a yeah. sausage spice. You, yeah, you're that's after. in the in the little that's bit of maple. absolutely. You can put turkey in sausage. There's yeah, no, there's good. nothing anywhere that says turkey can be in sausage. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I make an omelet. But when with you try to get it to be a burger, American cheese, I open up three slices of craft and throw in that some bitch and consider it healthy. That's a lot of chemicals. <laughs> Come take some That's... chemicals with me. <laughs> All right. Man, you, did you know, like, <laughs> there you go, Janky the, the craft company? It would be like economically infeasible to wrap each single in plastic. So they have the plastic pre-made as the mold for the single and just inject liquid hot cheese that eventually cools into the shape of the single. I Holy shit, really? Yeah, the single isn't pre-made and they spend like and a robot is just that's like, why oh, it melts yeah. so plastic good. around it. It's literally just a little plastic condom they inject fucking hot cheese into. Holy shit. Until it takes the shape of the single and then it cools into the single shape. Hell wow. yeah. It's yeah. Wow. It's not like there's a block of that cheese in the back and that this is like a slice off of it. Yeah, I remember that. They used to be called slices and they got in trouble because it wasn't actually sliced <laughs> off of anything. Well there's so enough they had to call cheese buried underground they had that to we could it. eat That's for decades. That's they I bought it up in the seventies whenever they were giving out its land a lake. Where is it? Uh it's in Minnesota. Is it still good? Yeah, because it's cool up there. Oh, okay, cool. And it's right. buried underground. There you go, Janky Jerry. Uh, I hope that helps your problem. Let's put the next one, Code. Yeah, get a cheat day, and then like instead of having like your bacon cheeseburger, get a quadruple. Like you know what's funny? Put some waggy in your mouth. What's that? Actually, Randy? I had this exact same problem. Like, and this is me. Just we went to see Brad Williams over the weekend instead of watching WrestleMania, which we didn't talk about for some reason. Uh, and uh, my brother-in-law got incredibly drunk and made friends with this guy who owns a CrossFit gym, yep. whose wife, or, well, business partner, I'm sorry, was a uh, the instructor at the CrossFit gym and also vegan. And 
my brother-in-law made a little bit of fun of her and she got really pissed off and left oh cool yeah i love it when you piss off strangers like that yeah and and but the crossfit guy thought it was hilarious and he (laughs) stayed and talked to us for a little while (laughs) and uh they played mario kart awesome Uh, so so that's my advice just have a random stranger roast her for being a vegan and then maybe she'll quit thanks randy Excellent All advice. Right. Yeah. All right, Cody. It's Judgy Janice from Juneau, Alaska. Assholes. I'm a 40 tier you. <laughs> Let's try that again. Assholes. I'm a 40 tier. Assholes. I'm a 42 year old black woman. You don't have to cut any of that out. Married to a 45 year old Asian dude. That's like, that's how we, that's how we like to be self identified <laughs> Asian dudes. Yes. Um, lately, our sex life has been exciting mm. as watching paint dry. Okay. We've tried role play, but it turns out we both suck at acting. Like porn level bad. Yeah. It's not a problem. So what's your half-assed advice on how to spice things ah, up in the bedroom easy. without making complete fools of ourselves? Easy. FetLife. Okay. FetLife.com. Okay. All right. Go in and this post. Is the second episode, you have plugged that website. Go, go and post that you're looking you for a legally third. have to say... If you're on a sponsorship deal, you know this nowadays, right? You oh, really? No, I'm not sponsored. Not sponsored. I'm just. This is a great idea. Wow, you are this genuine horn dog. Then. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to help. See the guy on the cabinet who always said, "Brought to you by Carl's Juniors." Yeah, because he got five dollars every time he said it. <laughs> I think that's you, Rim. You know they bear. You know Starbucks buried that movie. Oh, is that why they didn't have the fucking special effects? Yeah, budget? those no, fuckers. The no, 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 the movie had the budget it needed but it couldn't get well the no release, right at the last which second, is why Fox everyone's just like special effects budget and oh, half. Okay. that's why the special effects suck ass Interesting. what does starbucks have to do with it there was a sponsor starbucks was like we'll do your sponsorship deal uh market starbucks and they market starbucks but in the future starbucks is a hand job company <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> a coffee company. yeah <laughs> so like the movie like plugs the shit out of starbucks the hand job company and it Starbucks was not happy about <laughs> yeah, that. That's funny as shit. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I, I did see the judge. movie. It really is, yeah. but it didn't get a. Th- you know, it wasn't in theaters because it did dumb shit like that. And Fox was like, "Every you kids need to play nice, or else no, no big release or pushes." Like Fox, you know, kind of stamped on it. But whatever, whatever. Um, Go okay. to Starbucks for a hand job, woman. you guys. Yeah. That's, Seek a, that, yeah. that's a good one. Seek a third. Yeah. Okay. Or fourth. Teach them to speed bang, uh, speed bang the clip. Mm, I don't know. I actually don't know this one. You don't know how to spice things up in the bedroom? Uh, no, it's just beyond role play. It's just like, well, if you're okay, you know, if you're okay with each other sucking, you can just do still role play. You know, unless it's like, oh, we're, you're that awkward. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, you know what? Let's get serious for a second here. If Do you both recognize that it sucks? Because that's important. Like, if you both, if you, if you yeah, both if you, recognize. If you both re- yeah, yeah. You just you, keep going. Then you can then you can fix it. Each other. But if it's one person who recognizes it, and the other person doesn't want to you know talk I mean? about it, you can't fix anything, right? So if you don't communicate, you well, can't yeah. fix it. So that you're both on the same page is a good sign. All yeah, right. Kristen and I had communication about it, and that's why we're losing weight. Okay. Muscle tough. Yeah. Muscle tough. So, anyways, if you, now that you both realize that you have a problem, yeah, uh, like you can, you can. There's this thing I see on Instagram all the time: uh, the best date night ever, and it gives you ideas for dates or things to do in the bed. Oh yeah, I've seen like a card game version. Yeah, of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get like, one of those. Get one of those, and just not be necessarily like, yeah, dirty, but date yeah. night. Yeah, just fun. Don't date be afraid of stuff. gay stuff. Like if she wants to play with your butt or whatever, just go let her, just let her, all right, and see if you You're like. Giving it. advice to the female. And I was talking to her husband, the Asian dude. <laughs> he didn't ask. He's he's fine. Oh, okay. Well, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. All right. Just try things. Try things. Get one of those books and try things. Um, but if you're not in the same page, you just have to tailor page. your device. Like, hey, make sure make sure your husband isn't not, like thinking it's you know too gay to have fingers. And no, butts. fingers and butts isn't gay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Just just direct your advice to the 42 year old black woman that actually <laughs> oh, not the Asian dude. You know, wrote. Okay. Yeah. What if they listen together? The one that actually wrote to us. What if actually, they're having sex to our show right now? Oh, wow. That doesn't preclude anything. I never oh. considered that people might have sex to my voice. Isn't it wild? Yeah, I bet yep. that's happened. Mm. They do it to Cody's all the time. Like I, I do. Especially that bidet uh, copy. I know there's going to be someone jacking off to that. <laughs> I don't know who, but somebody. 
All right, Cody, what's the next one? Hey there, you <laughs> saggy nutsacks. This is Jill from Joylet, Illinois. I'm a 31-year-old trans woman, and I've been dating an amazing 27-year-old cis woman for a while now. Uh, she's super into astrology, like obsessively so. She plans our dates, even our sex life, around fucking star alignments. I think it's batshit crazy, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. What's your god-awful advice on how to deal with her cosmic craziness without sending our love life into a black hole? Well, I love that we have uh, trans trans women listening to the show. It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trans women are better than women. Uh, <clears throat> uh, astrology is horseshit. See, uh, D- Dylan Mulvaney got uh, Tampax, uh, Tampax sponsorship. <laughs> no, I missed that one. I saw the Bud Light one, and people are oh, very much yeah. not happy but, uh, for some reason. God, oh, even, yeah. even when women, women get it all, the pissed. men still try to take everything. Man, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, my father-in-law switched to Michelob Ultra. After yeah, that. did he? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, what's the what's happening here? Astrology. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get her in the numerology. Uh, it's and the I Ching. It's th- a little no, less. that's not better. No. Nope. No, the I changed the oracle, Cody. Lean into it. No, nope. get crazy with her. Like get more crazy. Flat earther, yeah, yeah, red pillar or something. Yeah. Oh, the flat Earth counter to the overzealous. Yes, the overzealous astrology. Wow. You know what? There's there's probably some fucking like insane couple out there where that actually works. I bet. Where it acted. There has you know, to. Where they the act. reality show exist. in the waiting. Yeah. There, it, it's probably so fucking... It, it, it's actually synergetic. Flat earther, like, boyfriend, like, astrology girlfriend. There you go. It probably exists. Yeah, there you go, Jill. Become a you flat earth. You know what? I bet that's, I bet that's like, one of the fucking Hollywood couples we already know. And they, 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 they're just not open with it. I bet you, like... <laughs> was it Tom Holland? Yeah, Tom Holland and Zendaya. Uh, and Zendaya, right. Oh, I bet shit. you. I bet you. I don't know which way it is. I don't know if Tom Holland is the astrology loving girlfriend no. in that relationship. Yes, Zendaya he is. is but no, Zendaya is a flat earth. No. Yeah, no. No, that's how it is. Zendaya is a oh, flat earth. Dude, I watched her in Euphoria. All right. I know yeah, where what she is this? All right. Oh, can we start a hashtag? hashtag. Like, oh, hashtag Zendaya flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, this is the hottest take the show has. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. We heard it here first. Zendaya is a flat earther and Tom Holland's super into astrology. Or maybe Tom Holland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bene May, for your sponsorship. That's right. That's right. Just go crazy with it, Jill. All right. That's enough, Randy. What do we got next? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to introduce this week's finalists for Dick of the Week. And here is our first nominee. As I said earlier, we have two Svensons. And uh, two articles. You got this fence and I sent you, right? Yes. Okay. Here it goes. All right. You want that one first or yeah. do you want the other one first? All well, right. you play whatever. Lead with your best Svensson. Oh, hold on. Oh, Stop God me. damn it. Yeah. Oh, good. Nice. God damn it, Randy. If you, if you fuck this up. What, the fuck, no, dude? what do you mean if he fucks it up? It's being fucked up as we're uh, at, like b- banter filling. I don't know what this fucking cable did. I just Where's the fire extinguisher? Cable. Get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just connect with Bluetooth. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, give me one second. A shake of a tits ass. Here we were gonna uh, we were gonna call uh, we were gonna call Stephen. That wouldn't have uh, worked. Yeah, it would have. Here we go. Okay. Still waiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to turn Trying it Trying to fill for time. Ooh, to the Rich Dickman Show and all the fans that are listening to the show. He's whispering. This is Finson here, and I'm calling in a dick of the week. This week, we've got something kind of special. This week, I'm doing a two-in-one. Now, the first thing that happened here on Twitter, famous international superstar actress Kelly Hugh was harassed more or less by a guy who swung his shot on Twitter and missed badly. So in case you're interested, you can go to you Kelly Hughes shots, Twitter swing, account swing. and she posted and swing, a tweet swings. that she got from some guy named Soldier Boy, blah, 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 whatever. And in this, 
Soldier Boy said he was going to tear her inside apart and rearrange her and smash her like she's never been smashed before. It's gross. I know. Crude. Very crude, of course. What's the and edits? Why is he awfully disrespectful to do this publicly. If this guy wanted to do it, he should have kept it private and not put it out there for everybody to see. Because it's embarrassing for her and it's embarrassing for him. Now, should he have done this in the first place? That's, of course, is debatable. I mean, hey, the guy had the balls to take his shot. Which brings me to part two of this nomination for Dick of the Week. So my first ah. nomination is this guy doing this to a wonderful lady like Kelly Hugh. My second Dick of the Week happens to be The Simps in the tweet that oh. followed yeah. when she posted about this guy. Oh, All so these sorry. little Simps come flying out from nowhere talking about Oh, I'm sorry you're going through this. Oh, I'm sorry this guy did to this. Did you to this? Oh, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you. It's wild Come on now. It. Quit like, being you can tell it's like a, a wussy I'm, simp. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> see, <laughs> this is the reason that they're being nominated for Dicks of the Week. Because I, I went through the history of some of these guys oh, who were trying to be shining white knights coming to her rescue, wanting her to take her away from all of this. And some of those guys had said comments just as bad, if not worse, of course. than our Mr. Soldier Boy. So Finally, listen, we don't like if you. you're going to take and be a simp, be sure that your history cannot be tracked. As far as some of the other things the that lone, you've said or done the lone online. Simper but on the anyway, grassy knoll. those are my two I nominations like for Dick of the Week. First, we have Soldier Boy, and second, we have The Simps. Rich yeah. Dickman's show, I hope everybody there is doing well. Fans out there, I hope you have a wonderful week, and take care. Thanks, Fenson. And uh, it's The, the lone Simps, really. It's a simper. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. White Knight the white night phenomenon is, is awful. Uh, like, what happened to men? I mean, what the fuck happened to men? Uh, it's Scotty, you want to do? I, okay. oh, sorry. No, I was just I was just gonna piggyback. Like white knighting is wild. Yeah. yeah, it's just like people like people like somewhere like even when it's not a female like like zealotry like people act like there's some kind of magic like port on computers. Where like people can like give you hand jobs yeah. through like the internet. Yeah, she, oh. That doesn't exist. <laughs> Not yet. Like she'll be my girlfriend. No. That, Cody. That but the thing is, it, it, it's it doesn't exist now, and it hasn't before now. So like anyone oh, who like is simping, thinking like Belle Daphine can like give them a, a, a reach around through like their like USB C port. It, it That's will what be we'll call it. The reach around. Cody, can I tell you something real quick? Like, Belle Delphine is sure. not something I would ever be attracted to, but she turns me on so much. It's crazy. I think you, you, it's weird. It's so you weird. just said, okay. I know. I know it doesn't make sense, but she's... Turn it, being turned on and attracted are different for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Sven, what's our next, Svensson? All right. It's your boy, Svensson, diehard Rich Dickman show listener. Gather around, my dudes, because wow. I've got a juicy ass dick of the week nominee for y'all. Maybe they should have gone so back to this back. Douche canoe named Shitty Steve, yeah. right? This motherfucker thinks he's the king of doucheville. So he's got this coworker, Clueless Carl. One day, Shitty Steve sends out invites to a huge ass rager at his place. We're talking kegs, beer pong, the whole shebang. But this dickwad Steve decides to invite everyone but Carl just to fuck with him. So Steve's this obnoxious, <coughs> overcompensating douche Spencer who wears shirts two sizes too small just burn. to show off his <laughs> mediocre <laughs> biceps. Carl, on the other hand, is a sweet, innocent dude who wouldn't hurt a fly. But he's so clueless, he'd probably walk into a wall if it had a push sign on it. <laughs> now, the night of the rager, Steve's place is decked out like a frat bro's wet dream. He's got red solo cups stacked higher than a giraffe's ass and enough cheap beer to fill a kiddie pool. All the while, our man Carl is getting ready for what he thinks is going to be the party of the century. So Carl rocks up to the address on the fake invite, decked out in his finest Hawaiian shirt and cargo shorts combo, carrying a Cody. six pack of the dankest craft huh? brews he could find. What is he wrong steps with into Hawaiian the funeral shirts. home and everyone's dressed in black, sobbing their eyes out. <laughs> now, Granny Hawaiian Gertrude, shirts. the dearly departed, was a saint. But her funeral playlist was straight up depressing, even for a funeral. We're talking nonstop Celine Dion, Sarah McLaughlin, and Enya. Carl's standing there bad. mortified while people That's shoot him death glares bad. that could kill a man. 
Back at shitty Steve's place, that smug prick is chugging beers, taking selfies, and laughing his ass off, thinking he's pulled the ultimate prank. Little does he know, Granny Gertrude's granddaughter, gorgeous Greta, is going to catch wind of his dickishness and unleash the wrath of a thousand Karens upon him. So there you have it, an extended look into the clusterfuck that is shitty Steve's life. I'm telling you, What's this guy's a grade right A prime cut dickhead. Can you believe this shit? Carl's standing there, all dressed up for a party, <laughs> while everyone's mourning <laughs> Granny Gertrude. Shitty Steve, man. He's one colossal cockwumble, and he's got my vote for Dick of the Week. Wow. All right. Uh, Spencer, Spencer you got to use... Himself. Yeah, use Discord to leave your messages. You you sound really strange when you're on your burner phone. Yeah. You got to get rid of that burner phone. You sound different sometimes. I got confused at the end um, there. I, I didn't know what was happening. What happened yeah, to Carl? Yeah, there was a lot well, packed he, into he, that he, story. Poor Carl. Yeah, he, Carl sometime, went to a yeah. funeral. Shitty <laughs> Steve sent him to a funeral. Yeah. So that's what happened. So is Shitty Steve getting his comeuppance? Like, what's, what's happening? No, well, uh, so Karen found out about it and is on her way. I don't know. He didn't know. He didn't really clarify oh, so, what was happening. This is, this is happening in real time. Yeah, that's what it seemed like to me. Okay, uh, right. that's that. That was my read. All but right. yeah, so so shitty. Steve threw a party, invited everybody but Carl, and told Carl that the party was at a funeral for gorgeous Gertrude or gorgeous Greta's grandma. Uh, okay, G- Granny right. Gertrude. I'm sick of it. Moving Thank on. You. <laughs> Don, what's the next segment? I don't even uh, no. Don't nominate anyone. Oh no, done. there's two. There's two more articles. Gotcha. I think Cody wants to move on. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, After no, much no, deliberation, uh, me, oh, the incredibly okay. handsome expert judges have come to the consensus Spencer Spencer. that this week's Dick yeah, of the Week Dick, award Dick goes the week is, to is the Simps. The Simps ruin everything. Fuck the Simps. Granny Gertrude for the shitty playlist at your funeral. You got to make sure that shit is tight. All right. I think about this like what are you, 90% what are of the time pumping? that I'm awake. Really? What are you pumping at your funeral, Randy? Oh, okay. So number one, her Cherry by Johnny pie. Cash. Cherry Pie by one. Uh, number two, that song that I played for him last week, <laughs> Just by Run the Jewels. Patreon.com slash uh, Rich You can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Number three, uh, Colt 45 and two zigzags. Because baby, that's all we need by Afro Man, and uh, Crazy Rap also called. Um, and then the last one is because of my sister and her kids, the Fast and the Furious song that they played for Paul Walker. I gotta represent. Do you not know the title, Mister Represent? It's Wiz Khalifa. Uh, see no, you. I don't know. See you again. See you. See you others. again. Yeah, something like that. See you and see you. In I think that's dream. what I'll end with. What was that song by Bone Thugs and Harmony? See you at the crossroads. That's it. Oh, oh, and imagine. I can only imagine just to get a little God in there. Yeah. Just okay. in case. Katy Perry. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. What about you, Cody? <laughs> did, you know th- did you know Thug Life is actually an acronym? Oh. To his under God dog. Whoa, no. What is it? That's what not is it? How we spell that word. Yeah, it's uh, uh, according to uh, Tupac, I think. It's uh, the hate you give little infants fucks everyone. Oh, shit. That's tr- holy shit. Wow. Damn. But wow. Yeah, th- but the U is not a Y. It's a it's an actual care. letter U. Take care of your babies, everybody. Cody, who's your dick of the, the week? You give infants. Um. Svensson for using his burner phone. Um, no, the simps. I gotta. Yeah, we gotta. It, it's one of those things where it's just like you gotta wonder where society could be if um, if uh, men were men again. People didn't. Not necessarily that, but uh, people were less idled over. Yeah, yeah. Uselessly. Yep. You know what I mean? Like if if somebody actually has talent or like creativity, go ahead, fawn over them give them the praise if they you know can do that but if people are out there just being personalities and e-girls you don't need to uh no you don't need to cling to no. that no simps dick of the week you can be your you can be your own thing you can be your own cool thing yeah you could be a pimp randy what are we doing next whoa oh fuck i thought God. he sped things up or something god I just don't cut this one in half no it's not this one 
Hi. No, it's the next I'm one. The literal Thank God. Jesus. And I'm here to tell you that no. you need to listen to this podcast segment. Now, 40. Cody, we need to make an argue example. with the literal you devil. Sound like your typical you were about to argue with like the literal devil. How to be Randy, successful. Cut this one. How to make friends. Or six seconds in. Put up sound and then play the last six seconds. Segment. And do that from now on, okay? No. You know, you know what? I, you, know, you know what sound effect I want to hear? I want to hear the worst of us. Or how to run VHS. Stop. It's about stop. Oh yeah. Stop and rewind. Stop and fast forward. Because we don't hear it anymore. Does it in the, in the fast forward? Yeah. But today, you know, Zoomers are blown away that VHS is when you're trying to make someone feel like can remember where they left off. If they know they're being uh, made fun of. Yeah. Yeah. Like now if you, you play remember. like a VHS at your house and take the VHS so, to your friend's house, breath, you're like, it knows <laughs> where we left off. It's just like, yes. yeah, you had to use those time VHS codes note. when, when you were watching you other the people's region. videos and didn't want them to know. Stand by. Law two, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Law three, conceal your intentions. Law four, always say less than necessary. Law five, so Thank much depends God. on rotation. Guard it with your life. Law six, order through all costs. Law seven, get others to do the work for you, but always take credit. Law eight, make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. Law nine, win through your act, never with an argument. Law ten, attack, avoid the unhappy. Law eleven, love, learn how to take. Law thirteen, when asked for help, granted, this is a friend. Work it by. Law fourteen, crush enemy totally. Law sixteen, use acting. Law seventeen, terror. Law eighteen, not build a tank. Law nineteen, use the worst idea for a segment ever. Law twenty, use the surrender attack. Train weeks into power. Law Play the perfect forty-eight. Law twenty-five, recreate yourself. Law twenty-six, your handling. Law twenty-seven, play on. People's need to believe to create a cult like following and Cody. And Cody Law 28 is interaction with baldness. Boldness, not baldness. You're not Larry David. And Cody, what is Law 29? You had one to read and you fucked it. You are zero for one on reciting Laws of Power. <laughs> Wait for the Law AI 29. Segment. Law 29, plan all the way to the end. The ending is everything, plan all the way to it taking into account all the possible consequences, obstacles, and twists of fortune that might reverse your hard work and give glory to others. By planning oh my God. the end, you will know not to be overwhelmed by circumstances, and you will know when to stop. Simulation Gently guide confirmed. fortune and help determine the future by okay. thinking far ahead. Cody, 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 Cody. WrestleMania just happened, okay? And everybody was pissed sure. off because Cody Rhodes did not defeat Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns won by some underhanded uh, tactics, uh, sure. But Roman weird. Reigns won. And everybody was all like, was all like oh my God, why, why didn't why didn't Cody win? There, there's They dropped the ball. This is the worst thing that ever happened. Like, I was, I was sad. I didn't get to see the moment because the moment when Roman Reigns loses is going to be big. Right? I'm selfish for that moment, but I understand there's Everyone a story is. here. There's a story at play, right? They're that, planning that's why, to that's the how end. they tricked you to watch WrestleMania. Yes, yes, yes. So the, the story isn't over yet. The story wasn't going to end yep. here. There's more to go. There's going to be a, more down the road. This is this is mm -hmm. perfect uh, encapsulation of that. I think what the WWE said is, no, they're not old enough yet. Yeah. The best tweet I saw <laughs> that summed it up was we thought that we were getting in-game, but we got Infinity Wars. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Ew. That was that's the grossest fucking metaphor. You used you used Marvel. You used a Marvel metaphor. Yo, Infinity to War paint was a dope a ass WWE film. picture. Okay. I know, but he just that's the most ooh, Roman Reigns that was weird. just that was weird, snapped Randy. everybody out of existence. That's what happened. We got we got it. We got more to go, baby. Jey Uso. And Vince go. is back in control, so it's oh, gonna suck. No, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna all be terrible. This is just the he worst. He has a mustache. He looks look like, like a supervillain now, Cody. Why is his head doing that? He looks like a Bond villain. It's, Why? It's, it's all the surgery. Why is his head like he's, that? He's a vain, it's not. vain human being. Pull well, the skin back. Okay. Even if you want, if you, even if he <laughs> wants that surgery, why? Why did he fucking like? Because he's an asshole. He's, he's, the, he's the worst human being ever lived. He's, he's going to ruin the thing I that know. I've loved for so long. I and know. And especially so. Duh. Like This is all I have. I don't have anything else but professional it's, wrestling. You have. And you I have love us. It. I mean, I have you guys and stuff, but you're not professional wrestling. You know, you don't speak to me the way Gunther speaks to me mm. when he's beating the shit out of Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Okay? You don't get, you don't get me going. Are you telling me pro wrestling's your best friend, Rem? It, it has been. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want. I don't, I don't want the stuff I love to be ruined. That's all. Stop fucking with the shit I like. No, I love you. Did guys. you hear Tony Khan's big announcement oh, for the ninth time? No, what was it? They're going to London in Wimbledon, Wimbledon Stadium. Cody, this guy. It, it, wow. it, it's only we're only four months in. Uh, you know, three and a half, three and a quarter months into the year, and this guy's made seven 
game changing big time announcements. Hey, it's a that growing just company. Like a politician. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to That's win. a promoter for you, Rim. <laughs> we have big time game changing announcements. Too bad, too bad everything sucks on AEW. Everything's, everything sucks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is good law of power. It's perfect for WrestleMania. Thank you, Cody. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, anyone have any other opinions about that before we move the fuck it's, on? It's good. It's good. I, I fucked shit up just not planning the ending out. Yeah. And if you really want to look, here's here's a perfect example. If you really want to look at what um, a project looks like where the ending is planned versus people just <laughs> going for it, yeah. look at British versus American television. Just, mm, British yeah. actor, British British writers like write for the story's sake. So like they make an end and they write themselves out of a job, which they're okay with because they're talented actors that aren't in like a hyper um, like competitive field and they know they can get work again. However, in America, in L.A. and Burbank, you 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 uh, you need yeah. you need that burger. Look at Star Wars. So you you write you write no ending so you can keep your job. See, and it uh, the story takes a hit sometimes. Yeah, Star Wars, perfect example, not planning for the end. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yep. And, well, and then and then look at okay there you go Star Wars is not planning for the end and something like the Hobbit is plan like the end is planned and you can see like those are totally different rides yeah aside from you know being British and American think of how much better Game of Thrones would have been if you finished <laughs> oh man yep I, and you know what the wild thing is like I just remembered like George R R Martin wrote Elden Ring. Like the 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 chunk the chief chunk of the story before finishing, uh, what is it? What is the saga called? The Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, like everyone's yeah. like, finish your shit, old man. He's like, wait, well, I can wait, do this other video thing. game though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, video game though, real quick. And everyone's like, shut up, oh my, you know what I mean? And the 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 part, it, and the, and the insufferable part is, you can actually get a good George R R Martin hit. From the story of Elden Ring, it's just like mm, that is him in there, and it works, and it, it actually like is. I'm, you know, at least I'm grateful that he did Elden Ring. And you know, it's funny. It was ten years ago I heard fire. Wind's Winter was five months away. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyways, Cody, there's a game changing announcement for you to read from Mr. Okay, Dickman. Where's, where's that? It's where it's the same place that I put the other stuff earlier. Yeah. I Cody. deleted it and put the new stuff. Cody, read this Make copy. What's that? Yep. It's, a lot. it's a lot of copy. Why are there emojis in my script? Don't, how do I the interns? They want you to. Yeah. That's, no, I know. It's, it's how, how do I act? The they, they want Kill, you to be loud and excited. Inflict pain onto the interns until they leave emojis out of my script. I don't see what the problem is. You say bad intern. Don't put emoji. Don't put things, Cody. Cody, we got we got other no segments to do, Cody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, degenerates of all ages, the moment you've been waiting for it finally has arrived. Brace yourselves with the most mind blowing, pants dropping, and life changing announcement in the history of podcasting. <laughs> Introducing Ellipses Drum Roll Ellipses, Rich Dickman Show's 269th Extravaganza Blowout Celebration Emoji, Celebration Emoji, Celebration Emoji. You're not supposed to say them. That's right, folks. We're going balls to the wall for this epic milestone. Prepare your ear holes for an exclusive interviews with celebrities you've never heard of. Um... No, celebrities you've never thought we could get. Hint, they may or may not be real. Unbelievable tales of debauchery. Was Sarah coming debauchery, on? And the unveiling of our secret sauce that's guaranteed to leave you begging for more. This sounds like we might be liable for some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Uh, in Minecraft, plus a cherry on top, we'll be hosting Dick Mania Contest, where one lucky li lucky listener will where one lucky listener will have the chance to join our kick ass crew for an unforgettable night of de uh, can I opt out of this debauchery debauchery revelry no I just wanted to be not part of this 
No, he says like <laughs> this makes it seem like I'm going to be there. I want everyone to know I will not be there You're for legal obligated. reasons. Yeah, no, I'm not. Jonathan Silver will be in touch. Uh, and Rich Dickman style shenanigans. All you have to do is send in your most outlandish Rich Dickman show fan art. And we'll pick the wildest one as your winner. So don't miss out on this once in a lifetime event. Grab your favorite beverage, strap in, and get ready for the Rich Dickman shows. Why are they getting beverages and strapping it? It's 269th extravaganza blood. It's going to be hell- one hell of a ride. Oh, we got to get Sarah, 269. Rocket ship emoji. That, yep. That, that's perfect. Right. I don't want this. A I. I don't want that. Without context. What, Sarah 269? Hey, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I thought we'd do a fantastic little painting, maybe that's maybe it's deep in the woods and it's very dark and misty. And I think you'll enjoy it, Evan. Surprise, motherfucker. Cody. I say you've played Nike's yeah. Spoonie. Are you, are you before. saying you want Sarah back in the show? Brett screwed. Uh, you want Brett. Sarah no, back in the show? God, please, no! No! Is, that something, is no. she doing 269? Yes. No! Okay. Okay. Brad. I don't object. I'm just here, so I won't get fired. Oh, we forgot to announce Adam Levine for next week. Fire. So you're dead after me There's a chance. Right. That probably should have yeah. been a big announcement. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end. <laughs> All right. You want 255 or 178 first? Uh, the old one. Why are we All doing right. new ones? Because they're good. What's this? Oh, this is this is the start. Not a it, I'm a musician. Order. Like it's art, Rim. It's art to me. I don't like the sound. Andy's in his experimental phase. <laughs> it's busy. It's fucking. You know, I can see shit. When in reality, it's 15, and I'm looking at him like I'm okay with this. The There's new colors. They invented in 17 years. Yeah. I had you got perfect indicted, all right until fucking video. fourth grade when this girl ruined my fucking vision. She fucking moved a chair that when I was sitting down and I hit my the back of my head on an oak table at a Catholic school. I'm negative seven and I'm a solid. You can fuck her. Do you know what a tantric massage is, Cody? Tantric <laughs> massage, yeah. I hmm. That's what I'm just like edging like you just, yeah. How much for me to throw a lunch meat at you while you're covered in mustard? Like and you've got Randy. I need you to figure out how to say that in Thai and fucking South Korea, all the dialects of <laughs> Eastern Asia. We need an RV and we need the new iPhones. It's like over 32 billion resistors inside of that fucking thing. How do they put a billion something in something? That's a great segue here, Randy. Would there be any way you could grab like 30 seconds of a piece of it that can put on Patreon to give people a little teaser? We kissed on the walk, lots of chemistry. He replied, actually, I'm not. My body went cold. I don't like the government telling me what to do. He asked if that was an issue for, yeah, I use voice meter potato, and that shit is a potato. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck you, Randy. Okay, fancy Cody over there. I only had like a 300 budget when I got my nice wife. I'm going to since barge ahead here last week. She's like, well, what I do is real work. It is a real job. I'm like, how so? That's not work. That sounds like great. It sounds like fun. I'm a person who used to do internet content for adult people, adult models and such. Not bathroom selfies, you know? Jesus Christ, fences. You're like, you're fucking more hateful than I am. Holy shit. (laughs) Well, I don't think anybody should be involved in your business at all. So go do what you want to do. Listen, people do things for money because they need the money. I don't do any real work. Yeah, nobody (laughs) hates. I have the most bullshit job in the world. When we have our national divorce, fishing rods are going to be at a premium. You I love that you, but shit. I hate this idea. Svenson, your dick of the week. Um, yeah, get your shit together, man. Just puke one of them out, baby. Just fucking do it. Yep. I'm thinking you know what I mean. Slam the door three times. You've got a fucking smooth ass like fucking rail. Go ahead. Think about chasing yourself through the multiverse and just killing different versions of yourself over and over and over and over again. You can't walk your people. You got stronger. There could be a version of you having no idea what's going on and you're just getting stronger as you're doing nothing different. What if that's why there's like Elon Musk's and Jeff Bezos? One day they just like try to squeeze a little bit of shampoo, but the entire shampoo bottle just erupts into their face. We could do it all in front of a green screen. Feels like and Cody could just do whatever you need. What about the version like of Ren Chet that Hanks fell in love with Jules? You could kill him. 
There it's are people Trump. who put a whole ton it's of Trump, thought baby. into these two episodes. I know, but it feels Morty. like it's That's Chet what the Hanks internet's now. doing to us right now, <laughs> and I don't like it. We could build our own company, you know, creating How content long is this? with AI. Yeah, Ram, you start oh, making the haiku bot. Randy will start making the cosmetic vlog robot. You know Cody what I mean? Cody called like it. Cody. Yeah, of course that. Yeah, will work. She's. I like this idea. Randy's too lazy to be kinky, man. <laughs> I'm all about efficiency, and you know what I mean. Like, yeah, speed bang with my fingers on the clit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. Randy made sense. Yeah. And I have another like, one. That's remember one too. That was how, so. How long good. is it? Same length. God damn it, Randy. You ready? <clears throat> Cody, if you want to cut it early, we'll do, we can we can do it. No, no, no. This is absolutely fine. Okay. This is from last week. I've been waiting all month to hear this somehow. Fast forward. This, su- this part sucks. I don't like this part. Oh, I played the wrong part. <clears throat> I played the wrong song. No, hold on. It's the same thing! <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> so that's how Pokemon came out. And I was just like, yeah, I also, I am also a kid. I thought of a term offing oneself. I always, I thought that just meant to go to sleep. <laughs> nice, Randy. You're getting the meat treatment. Wait, you said Mega Man? What was your cool childhood thing that you think is behind the Mega Man? The machines, man. All the fucking oh, machines crazy. that have the little abilities like Dr. Wily made these dudes. I had an issue of Nintendo Power, I and there the was a poster like of the this. Mega Man two bosses in the different places in the game. I tried to find and that poster. That I thought that poster was the coolest fucking thing. This? I remember Please. being too afraid of Send. Game Genies because I remember yeah. Nintendo Power said like they could Electronic ruin stuff guys. permanently. 1990. Like, yeah, they didn't break it. Me and Fuzzy. It's right in between. I remember Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> there was um. There was a weapon that would allow for evade encounters, which meant like instead of taking damage, you step out of the way and hurt the thing that tried to hurt you. The cooler is like getting 100 lives and wrecking shit like an idiot. I knew a guy who went to Harvard and he graduated in two years with a software engineering degree. But at my first grade birthday party, my sister convinced him to hold his breath until he passed out. <laughs> I just keep on reading those labels. The older ones are funny, Randy. Occasionally throwing in a side oh, comment okay. about the sodium yeah. content or the lack of I think because it's so fresh. Options. Remember this stuff. It feels like we're all stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we release it's it be a stinger like, on Twitter. Like yeah. Rich Dickman show in three, four minutes. Yes. Perfect. All right. Cody, what were cool. you saying? I feel like... Hmm. Just because, like, I, I because we like slightly gamified Jesus AI, mm-hmm. we, we we could we could probably maybe like at least like do a theme to challenge Randy to do like next week's with. You know what I mean? Like just because like eighties bop. You know what I mean? Great theme. You know. What I mean? So like I don't know orchestra where you go from eighties forties orchestra or, orchestral. Yeah, orchestral. Randy, orchestra. I like it, Cody. That's good. I pick. Text I just me picked. that, Cody. Okay. Yeah. Just. I don't know how to spell it. Fuck. I went to a public school yeah. for most of my career. Speaking of Jesus, yeah. Orca- orchestral what? Orchestral. Do um, you love weird. Art. Orchestral. Yeah. Oh, Let's. Let, we'll work that. We'll Bye. workshop it after. Okay. Fine. Yeah. I'll find it. Do I'll you workshop love it right there. Chat GPT. Oh my. God. Best part of the show right here. Love AI. Do you love Jesus? It's Easter, O-M-G. baby. OMG. I <laughs> love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And his resurrection. And boy, have we got a segment for you. What would Jesus do? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have an interesting thing here. Did you put it Cody on the website one last yet? Last week. What would Jesus no, draw. Com, everybody? Not yet, but I will. Okay. I'll get it on by the end of the night or tomorrow. Got a beautiful picture Probably of Jesus tomorrow. making Pruno right on my screen. Yeah, Cody fucking nailed it. Dude, fucking awesome. I think. Uh, and that's why he got to pick this week's topic uh, rendered in Lego form. Is okay. Jesus, any part of Jesus' life rendered in Lego brick? And Cody I want, went so first. I go first. Yes, right. the resurrection of Jesus Christ rendered in Lego form. And I don't know if you guys are ready. Did for I it. say that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you did. 
I think I said that because somebody else took supper. Yeah, I, I, I I wound up at supper. You, you uh, I think yeah, you okay, were... that's yeah. yeah. No, Rem, no, no, like I Rem was went do... first, said supper. Okay, you, but you would have gone first because you won. No, Rem went last. No, because... no, that's not the rules. Oh, yeah, Rem went last because uh, I re- I just listened to the podcast today with my uh, friend Joey, okay. and I tried to get him to be our uncircumcised yeah. correspondent, and he said no. I wanted. <laughs> Right. I, w- I wanted to s- I-, I wanted to do resurrection but you took it so I got pissed off at you that's what happened oh okay yeah all right so yes, Cody had resurrection in Lego got it. all right here we go <laughs> holy shit it's in the live show <laughs> right <chat>. right <laughs> that's pretty good it's what do we got we got a we got a we got a white altar and a black like temple right and they got the Jesus white cross crucifix. right a white that's crucifix Good Jesus. Or is that him coming out of the cave? Yeah, that's Jesus coming out of the cave. Yes, it is. It is. Or is it him going into the cave? No, but it's Jesus no, okay, coming so out. Okay, so the plinth is inside the cave, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the interior of the cave. No, 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 no. That that that, I, that white thing is the rock that was the door, the boulder. Oh, okay. I thought that was the plinth where he was. No, no. Okay, so that's the boulder. Yeah, it's boulder. Folded open, folded out. Okay. Right, and here he comes. And he's coming out of the cave. Still wearing the Shroud of Turin. Yeah. Should have left that inside for people to discover, I guess. Yeah. But I, I guess these are his disciples. How many do we have? Well, the disciples three, wouldn't three, have been four, there. Five, and six, there's women. Seven, eight, so nine. it's not disciples. There's, I guess we could have Mary. Mary Magdalene was there to get yeah. titty fucked. Yeah. This is good. I like it, it, looks like a, it, it looks like a Lego set. Now, now as a Lego really set, good. it's boring, right? It's just black. Yes, with, what black I don't like Legos. is it's, yeah. in a, it's in a black void. The yeah. set does end. Well, what I had to do is I had to take a photo of a Lego panorama or something. Oh, that's like that fun. In order to I get see, it okay, I see how you did it then. Or that's diorama. Good. Diorama. I'm sorry. very happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Oh. Great colors too. I like it just white, black, yellow, a little bit of green. I mean, it's strong, muted, you know, strong colors. I, I, Cody, to, my criticism here, I mean, it's it's the resurrection and it should be a little more flamboyant. Here's but. here's my one thing. Like, I don't know what it is, but behind Jesus you know, to stage left behind Jesus, there's some kind of cylinder <laughs> it's in, in the cave mech. behind. <laughs> it's R two D two. I was gonna say, like, it looked like it looks like a keg, like it looks like a like Wearing a huge, you know, like yeah, it looks like a huge like beer keg is is in is like hidden in the background in the, of of the resurrection cave. It looks like Jesus. Darth Vader's boot, like the straps on this boot. Yeah, I don't know if you're all saying. right, that's good. That's it good. Looks like a cylinder. Right. Okay. What was our next one? All right. Next is Randy. Jesus Christ tempted by the devil after fasting for 40 days and 40 minutes. You wanted this too, didn't you? Yeah, I wanted this one too. Yep. Okay. Rem got fucked. The Italian got (laughs) fucked. (laughs) Ha (laughs) ha ha. Here we go. All right. right. Where can people see this? (laughs) What would Jesus draw? Dot com. Oh, Oh, this is good. We've got a simple scene. Uh, it's, it's a black bottom, like a desert and maybe like a fire pit thing. You got Jesus wearing red, eating a, like a, like a burned out corn on the cob. Um, his hair is wild. <laughs> he looks angry. And then you get the devil. And the devil has a larger Lego head and it looks like a table with horns on top. It looks like a <laughs> yeah. table with horns on top. <coughs> I actually don't know what this scene from the Bible should look like. So I, I, I don't, I don't know how much of a hit or miss this is. I, I, yeah, did, I, did, did I think Satan appear good. to Jesus as a chair? Yes. I don't. I don't. It was like you can sit down and rest your weary bones, not yeah. on the hot sand. What I like about this one is I like I, I like Jesus. I like Jesus here. Look yeah, at Jesus' that's what face. I like. You know, he, he looks very emotional. He looks. He looks like emo Jesus with the devil. You know, he's just. He's so mad. Yeah, he's angry. He's angry. Yeah, here's my thing. Why do you think he's eating that? implement in his hand right it, it that looks like hungry. a like lightsaber threatening I think it's the a devil with like a no, shank b- because he had to fast right and the devil was tempting him with food and he wasn't allowed to eat that's the scene what was yeah. what was the food was uh, whatever food in general fucking whatever man beef corn beef jerky <laughs> well it looks like yeah it looks chicken like wing. a kebab that he ninja. ate you know what i mean yeah it looks yeah. like a chicken wing or like something that had food on it so yep. the devil might have won and won in this depiction at least also, yeah. three horned right. devil. Very interesting. It, oh, that, that is a third horn, huh? I didn't, I, I didn't piece that one yeah. together in my mind. But yeah, that's weird. The devil looks anxious as fuck. I just realized <laughs> he mid, does. Uh, uh, the, yeah, I just realized AI is probably having a blast, like 
with, with these prompts taking off from generating fingers. It's just like, oh God, I'll just use the mini, f- yeah, I'll just use the mini figure cup hand. Can't fuck that. But it does look like there's too many fingers. It still somehow looks like there's too many goddamn it's, fingers. Yeah, on it's Jesus. still it's off. Yeah, it, his right, right hand yeah. is off. Yep. All right. What's the last Damn. one, Randy? Son of a bitch. All right, Rim. Recre- recreation of Da Vinci's Last Supper with Jesus and the 12 disciples having Thanksgiving dinner. This is dinner, why I was confused, because I helped form. you think of this yes. and was yeah. jealous. I needed help with the wording. You might you might have won this one because you, you uh, went last. Holy shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I like it's a full set. It's not an avoid. You see how yeah. like the floor and the tables it's take floor up the I forgot to see if Cody wanted about. his re-roll. I, I, I was gonna I was gonna wave it. Oh, okay. Sorry, Rim. I was totally yeah. Describe uh, like there was nothing yeah, there was nothing I okay, was not gonna so, re-roll mine. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen people at the table. So Jesus and his twelve disciples. Okay. Um, well, perfect. Yeah. Wh- which one is Jesus? That's my issue. I don't know which one is it the guy with the oh, wild the hair. Short hair? With guy. The hair. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Big it hair guy. Looks like you got like um uh the William Shakespeare in one of these too. But <laughs> if you look in the center of the table and the thing with the the yellow George dots Washington's on, there. George Washington. <laughs> it looks like a turkey. Abraham Lincoln. Like a like a turkey leg or something. And there's a bowl. Uh, everybody has a bowl and some silver. It's a remarkable. It looks like they're eating set. soup and yeah. grape and olives. Yeah, everybody's got a chair. Everybody's sitting in a chair, and yeah, it's not straight across like Da Vinci painted it. It's, yeah, it's everybody around the they table. They look like they're all saying "harumph." They look like har 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 rubble 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 rubble, and it looks like one guy in the corner is like pointing at Judas, saying, "You're going to betray him." <laughs> it looks yeah. like it looks like they're. Trying to like hold their hands in prayer, but because of like their many figure cup hands, they can't like actually articulate a handhold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with somebody they're sitting next to. <laughs> so that's good. Mm. That, that's a good one. Uh, and the walls are red. There's a window and there's a, a gray floor. So it does. That's Cody said. It looks like yeah. it's enclosed. And, and do you know what I like about the floor? Like the floor, like kind of remembers to the right side of the screen. Like oh, like, oh shit, we're supposed to be Legos. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it's smooth. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it looks like regular tile, and then it gradually like picks up the uh, the uh, Lego effect as yeah. it goes from left to right, which is a really trippy effect if you're like not looking at it. It looks normal, but it's just like, wait, I recognize that pattern. These are these are Legos. <laughs> uh, I don't right. know. I hand the I vote for Rems. Wow. Yeah, I think Rem clearly wins. Uh, I I which can't. I hate because he's. He's fucking way ahead overall. If you look at the top of what would Jesus draw dot com, oh, there's a leaderboard. Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> what would Jesus draw? That's, okay. that's the easiest way to take the fun out of everything, Randy. You start okay. tracking it with. You start publicly tracking it. So, yeah. okay. as the anyway. winner, I get I win a reroll for next week, and I also get to choose this week's uh, prompts yes. or, or basis yes. or theme or whatever. Okay. With Jesus. So this weekend here in America is Easter weekend. I think it's all over the world too. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Easter bunny in an Easter basket. Where's Jesus? Jesus. The is, theme? Jesus the Easter bunny. Jesus the Easter bunny, period. That's all we <laughs> have to work with. That's it. <laughs> On Easter. Jesus the Easter bunny. Laying eggs, no, delivering okay. candy, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Jesus the Easter yeah. bunny doing hijinks. So I got theme. I got that's the prompt. So here we go. Randy, ready for mine? That's the tweet. Yeah. I might need help wording this, Cody. Je- sure. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Jesus Christ as the Easter bunny in the mall with little kids sitting on his lap. Okay. Here's the thing. I think yeah. we're all, just because of the nature of the pump, we're all going to say Easter Bunny. So I think you should, pa- everyone should paint their own Easter Bunny and maybe reference like a known rabbit. So like maybe like, you know, you can do, one of us can do Bugs Bunny and the other, like, I don't know, was another famous fucking rabbit. Okay. I don't know. Peter. There Peter you go. Peter Rabbit. Cottontail. Uh, yeah. 
Flopsy. Or just however you see it in your head. You just be more Marlon Bundo, than Mike Easter Pence's Bundo. Bu- so, so, okay, so if I, if I clarify, so Jesus as the Easter Bunny, it doesn't mean Jesus has to be the Easter Bunny mascot or has to be a bunny. It could be Jesus as your version of the Easter Bunny. In my head, I see Jesus as, you know, sitting like a mall so Santa. Say that. Like, like a, like a, okay, say that then. Okay. What? Articulate like Jesus, like a mall. Yeah. You know, Jesus like a Christ as a mall, mascot. as a mall mascot, dressed as Jesus Christ, dressed as the Easter as, Bunny, as a, a mall mascot, working in a crowded Jesus. mall with a line of children, handing presents to a line oh, yeah. of children. Is that Easter handing? You're no, I, I, I'm doing a lot of things here. Right? I'm, but the theme is Jesus okay. as Easter Bunny. Okay. How is Jesus like the Easter Bunny? Is he? Does he have the mascot costume on? Does he have for fucking, face paint that's on? That's for AI to decide. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you're leaving that there. So, Jesus Christ, wor- Jesus Christ, working as a mall, uh, as mall, a dressed up shopping mall Easter Bunny. Yeah, sure. Dressed up as a shopping mall Easter Bunny in in a crowded and, mall, handing presents to children. No, 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 no. In a crowded mall with a line of children. All right. Do you want to hear what the interns just banged out? Yeah. All right. Depict an amusing scene where Jesus Christ, dressed as the Easter Bunny, works in a bustling mall, handing out gifts to excited children. Well, perfect. Capture the playful atmosphere with Jesus <laughs> expertly balancing his divine demeanor Good. Good. and the endearing role of the Easter Bunny. Good. Focus Good. on the details Good. of his costume, the children's reactions, Good. and the colorful Good. decorations Good. in the mall create Good. a heartwarming, humorous, Good. and unforgettable okay. image. Good. We're good. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now <laughs> you you like that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Um Okay. What's uh, this Easter sweet, I can just do? paste that in there. Yep. All right. And without reciting it. Um what, what do fucking Easter bunnies and Jesus do? Lay eggs. Oh, Cuz I had a backup plan too. Yeah. I don't want to tell you cuz I don't want to give you any ideas. I don't want to put them in your head. <laughs> Is it literally just Jesus Christ. I can go, even though you... Jesus Christ in, like, sexy rabbit ears. (laughs) That's that's possible. Uh, Go ahead, Rain, if you got one, go. Yeah, (laughs) I was going to say Jesus Christ sacrificing pagan babies at the end of an orgy. (laughs) Wait, that probably won't work. As the Easter Bunny. It's got to be the Easter Bunny. As the Easter Bunny, yes, of course. That's what I meant. (laughs) I like it. I like it. That's fine. Okay. Jesus Christ, uh, pardoning. I can't say sacrifice. Pardoning really? infant children uh, at the altar of I our Lord. I can try sacrifice. Yeah, at the altar of our <laughs> Lord in an Easter Bunny costume. <laughs> I really uh, after. Mm. A group festival. Okay. All right, Cody, are you having trouble? You need help mobilizing? No, I just needed to look something up. We're gonna. I'm gonna take okay. this to a weird, weird anime place. Brit- oh, and I go I go weird, buddy. Ready. Hell yeah, it's going weird, and people are gonna find out what a reverse bunny suit is right now on the <laughs> internet because of yeah. So I want. <laughs> Exactly, Randy. I like that look of intrepid learning. Uh, Jesus Christ in a reverse bunny suit with sexy bunny ears. <laughs> I can't use sexy. Off, uh, flirtatious. Sultry. Please. Sultry. Flirt. Sultry. Oh. Sumptuous. Can you sneak sumptuous in there for me, Randy? S- sultry yeah. and sumptuous. Man, Salt where, 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 where were we? Let me know what you have when you're done. Okay. Jesus Christ in a reverse bunny suit with sultry and sumptuous bunny ears. Bunny ears offering Cadbury egg to camera. And then just add the word kawaii in there for fuck's sake. How do you spell that? I don't know. All right, let me go to my phone. I, because there's Kawaii, which is spooky, and then Kawaii, which is Kawaii. Japan. Kawaii. Got it. K A. No, it's not working. W K A W A. 
I I. All right. Yep. K A W A I I. Yep. Wow, Rim, that's, that's yeah. beautiful. It's a good. Uh, you just need a, a background. You just need a little formatting on that, and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So read that back to me when we when, when you're uh, settled, Randy. Oh, I'm feeding it to the. Or I'm giving it to the interns real quick. Okay. I'll read what just you line, got. Read it. Just Jesus Christ in reverse bunny suit with sultry and sumptuous bunny ears offering Cadbury eggs to camera. Uh, Kawhi. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Do you Man, want to hear what the interns what banged out? No. I don't. I don't. That's okay. a little, that might be a little too. I don't know, Cody. Do you want to hear it? What? With the no, interns, I, 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 okay. full, I, have, I have faith in the interns. I, I okay. don't need right. to uh, fact check yeah. them. But have, right. you, have you? Did you Google what a reverse bunny suit looks like, Rem? Oh God, do I have to? Uh you want to talk about it, or do you want to be surprised when this comes? Reverse? Up? Is it gross? No, you might like it. You know what a bunny suit oh, is, right? Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. that, I love it when I love it when Rem's like Eureka light goes off on the uh, shit. Like, uh, oh, yeah, it's an interesting, uh, interesting uh-huh. concept. Uh huh. Very nice. So, uh, Very yeah, nice. I asked the AI to play with that and uh, the likeness of our Lord and Savior. Awesome, I love it. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. I hope everybody enjoys. It. Big Easter announcement, by the way. Big Easter announcement. We have comedian, not from Maroon Five, Adam Levine, uh, coming on the show next week. And funny enough, he did five minutes on colonoscopies. It's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Simulation, man. Yeah, dude. It's fucking nuts. Cody, Cody, Randy, and Kristen text me and like, we can book Adam Levine. I'm like, the Maroon 5 guy? And they're like... Seductive is banned. Lol, no. The comedian. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You got to do one of the um, Steven Seagal movies or like Bruce Willis movies. Where they like hire one of the real actors and then somebody that has the same name of like a real act. I remember seeing like Seagal and Van Damme, like yeah. at 2012, and it was just Seagal and Van Damme, and it was actually Steven Seagal because you can hire him for like a meatball marinara. <laughs> and it was, it was literally a college kid that changed his last name to Van Damme. So he could like fool people on like boxing games <laughs> like so. It was wild. Anyway, that's amazing. I love it. All right, that was a fun show, everybody. Uh, any any uh, any last words? Any final thoughts? I I'm just I I am blown away that the AI put 13 miniature figures in your Last Supper. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I feel like mm, you shouldn't know that one. And you, it, you know what I mean? It would be fine if it was like, if it traced the position of it. But no, this is an entirely new imagining a- and angle of The Last Supper. And it got the number of people right. That and you know what? I bet you, I bet you it's fucking correct. I bet you AI is able to look into the past. All right. That's how far ahead. But AI is from the future and it just looked into the past. And that, that's an actual representation outside of being well, a Lego yeah. form. Yeah, nobody Cody, si- nobody sits at the table this and let you pick which one because they're all fantastic. All right, so Randy, okay. say the words, baby. Let's bring this baby mm. home. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Cody. These shows are more fun every single week we do them, and uh, I hope everybody else is having fun too. Uh, but thank you for listening to us. We love it when you do. If you like what we do, you want to support the show, tell a friend and leave a review. If you like us more than that, check out Patreon, patreon.com yeah. slash Rich Dickman. We've got the videos. You watch these videos. Last week's video had me and Randy, Randy presenting me with a, or with a rap song. And we might do that after the show. So stick around. Yeah, have to. Stick around if you're watching the video. All right. And, uh, and blah, 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 find us online, richdickman.com for all your Rich Dickman needs. Make sure you check out whatwouldjesusdraw.com to see our beautiful Jesus AIR. You can find that on our Patreon as well and my Instagram, Rem Dickman. All right. And at richdickman.com for all your Rich Dickman needs. I think I said that. I'll say it again, richdickman.com. Why don't we automate this? I bet you we could automate the end of most shows. But it's always fun to try to make up something as I go. Check out that's the what I'm saying. Right. We could, we we get a fucking robot that's just pretty much a rem, uses Rem's voice to like sign oh. out, and then we can riff over him. Holy you know shit! I mean? So Randy, it's that's a beautiful. Every you time, have yeah, you have plenty of my audio to do up, that, Randy. Can you send me yeah. one of your tracks with just you, so it's easier? 
Yeah, I'll do that. No problem. Want tonight? Okay, yeah, but ma- you have to make sure yeah. the voice, whatever voice comes out, is actually doesn't sound like Rem, so the audience knows which one is the bot and which one Rem is. So you well, we could play a game shift or something. That's all. Rich Hickman Show at Gmail dot com. No, that's that's just that'll just be confusing. Or it's at Rich Hickman awesome. Show on Twitter. Executive producer Randy is at Sir Zero with an E or Sir Zero with an E at Gmail dot com. Producer Ryan at Ryan TRDS. My mother's at Rem underscore Mama. She is in Italy until the middle of June. I have to take care of their house and pay their bills. It's crazy. I am at Rem Dickman and Cody McCann, the best part of the show. Where do people find you? Yeah. Um, on the Twitter, Zach Cody McCann, CBDY, M double C A double N. You right. Airbnb that crib like a hostel? Summer rate right cheaper because the streets get hostile? <sighs> That's not a rhyme. It's a Randy, story. tell the people how they do the thing. <laughs> oh, you're going to want to go to whatwouldjesusdraw.com. You can email Randy, Rim, or Cody there, and we'll get what? it. Uh, yeah, you have your own email at whatwouldjesusdraw.com. How do we get into that? Cody. Does it- oh, I sent it to you like three weeks ago. Okay. Anyways, or you're going to want to come to bit.do slash trds1 to get all the content nope, that the don't do that. for, but for don't free. Do- nope. Or you're going to want to call 860-316-4776 to fight me. I want somebody to fight me. I'm ready for a fight. I've been on the sidelines for too long. Somebody come at me, bro. Anybody. I'm ready for it. Walter, we're still friends. I don't want to fight you. I feel like this episode has had the worst. (laughs) (laughs) Good night, everybody. I mean, (laughs) that... Boosh. You're right, Cody. This is terrible. Don't listen to any of the bullshit we have to say. Uh, yeah. Can we, can we go back in time and put this one on a table Fools just to, like, cover our <laughs> ass? We can call it the April Fools episode? Belated April. Yeah. Yeah, yeah belated. Go. That's the new, that's the new in, instead of in Minecraft. Yeah. Belated April Fools joke. Uh, you're being sued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> belated April Fools joke. I want full custody. April Fools, everybody, except the part where I won AIR again. Mm, Bitches. Fuck off. No, I, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not, just I'm no, teasing. That joke was going. It's getting kind yeah. of boring. Okay. You're winning all the time. Okay. I'm just see, saying. See, Cody, this is what Cody said. Shut the fuck up. This is what Cody's saying. All right, don't do that, Randy. I, I, lo- I love that. Ooh. I'm just fucking with right. you, bud. I love you guys. I think it's great. I just got to change all these 255s to 256, and then we'll be good. Cool. All right, turn the shit off. Bye. Oh, okay. You want me to stop that? <laughs>